we have a direction and we're focused enough to know what we want to do. And KISS is more like, I guess, a, a belief. <laughs> and like an army, if, if somebody falls by the wayside or somebody deserts, somebody else picks up the gun and you keep going. Speaking of the Army, the Army was starting to, I mean, the recruitment was going down a little bit towards the, uh, I, I guess, Creatures of the Night LP. Uh, the sales were starting to drop off a little bit, and then right after that we saw the change and the makeup came right. off. Were you worried at any point in time that, oops, maybe it's waning, maybe it's, we're going to have to get out? <laughs> worried? Um, you do it, you know, you can only do what you do, and you continue doing it, and when it doesn't work anymore, you stop. I, I don't think um, you can't prolong something. And, you know, when it's over, it's going to be over. I didn't think it was over. I, I think that when something lasts as long as we've lasted, it, it has its ups and downs. The Stones have not been on top for uh, 20 years, and the Who certainly were not on top all the time that they were out. I think, you know, you, you, you don't necessarily look at who's the number one band this year, but you look at maybe if they're going to be the number two or number three band in 15 years. Right. You know, those are what the, that's what makes you a champ. So there was never Instead any chimp. Yeah. There was never any sit down serious meaning about do we continue this or no, do we make a major change? I, it, I mean the writing's on the wall at some point. Mm -hmm. Some people said, Well, you know, didn't you realize if you took off the makeup you were taking a big risk? Well, I don't think we wanted to continue looking the way we looked anymore. There was time for a change and you, you know, no guts, no glory. You know, you do what you do and it either works or it doesn't. But you have to be able to walk away from something and say you gave it your best shot. You've been accused by a lot of parents, and it even showed up in the uh, I Love It Loud video of hypnotizing uh, your young fans right. into becoming these droids that just yeah. get out there and pound their fists to your music. And a yes. lot of parents were worried yes. about that sort of thing. They're well, right. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how and we did it. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, we're going to market those hypnotizing tools. You know, right. that's, Kiss hypnosis medallions. Is that just typical parent reaction to you? Well, you know, some parents sometimes forget that they were once young, mm -hmm. which is one of the one of the dangers of growing up, I guess, is that some people seem to think that as they get older they gotta become serious. And a lot of those people forget that they grew up listening to Little Richard. Right. And when Little Richard was saying, Good golly, Miss Molly, sure like the ball, he wasn't talking about football. So those people seem to grow up okay and you know, I don't know what, what the, the big worry is. I don't want to grow up to be like them either. Are you a parent? No. Because yeah. I know that Dee Snyder is, and, uh, and he's concerned a bit about what his, what his kids are in. If I looked like him, I'd be concerned too. <laughs> <laughs> and he's, he's concerned about what his kids are being exposed to. Look what they're being, you know, it's Bozo. <laughs> no, I'm Bozo's just kidding. He's a great guy. Right. So Gene Simmons recently uh, did some acting in a movie, uh, Runaway, with Tom Selleck. He's right. done a couple of other things as well. What about yourself? I'm doing a film called Stay Away. Um, no, there's a, um, see somebody got that over there. Um, there's always stuff that's being offered to you. It's just a matter of trying to do the right thing. Um, about a month ago, somebody came to me and said, look, we want you to star in this film. And it was something like Sewer Monsters from Mars or something. So I turned it down. But um, there's, there's stuff that's coming up this year. And there's some uh, projects, pro you know, production projects. It's just, if it comes to doing something that's mediocre or taking it easy, I prefer taking it easy. Right. What was that movie that you first started in? Kiss Meets the Kiss Phantom? Kiss Meets the Phantom, a Phantom, classic. Right. Yeah. Yes. Definitely a, a C movie classic made for television. That's right. But, but if something good comes your way, you'll take it? Yeah, there's actually some good stuff, you know, that, that's uh, being offered now. I just don't know if I'm right for the role of Lassie. It's <laughs> <laughs> you have a hard time running fast on all fours. Right. I right. pant very well. Uh, <laughs> Let's see the pant. <laughs> Jean's pants a little bit... Like yes. more, I'd, I'd yes. say, you know, yeah. effective than that. But I thought he played a great villain in Runaway, though. So did I. He's a certain creepiness about him that That's you just right. can't a real buy creep. or manufacture. Uh, yeah, he's, he's really something, isn't he? And listen, we wish you a lot of luck on vacation in Antigua, whether the blonde or the pina colada. Great. Is, is first we'll be is, right is back. He's thing. leaving. <laughs> Let me, uh, let me give you one of these t-shirts. If you want to stick around, you're welcome to stick around. I mean, you can help me do my show for can a while. Can I work the camera? Yeah. Oh, we could uh, let you do anything that you want to do. All right? I mean, if you want to stick around, the place is yours for a little while. Okay, There's a bunch of music that you can wear uh, in Antigua when you go down there. I will wear it. Say hi to the sunshine for I me sure because will. I'm staying here in Canada. Well, you look healthy and marvelous. It's the makeup. That's all it is, let me tell you. Why don't we go with the latest track from the Asylum LP? What is it? Who Wants to Be Lonely? Oh, good. Okay. I haven't seen this one. All right. Here's Kiss on Much Music.